Hey guys, it's your girl Courtney and welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be watching some disrespectful children disrespect their parents. Before we even get into this video, if you're a new person on my channel, thank you and welcome. The Reezys welcome you. If you don't know what I mean by Reezys, Reezys are the best individuals on the internet. And yes, they are subscribed to this channel. So if you wanna become a Reezy, Click that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being a Reezy. Thank you so much for existing and I love you. <laughs> that was smooth. That was smooth. Okay, let's get into the video. So today we're gonna be watching Super Nanny. Super Nanny is basically a woman who goes to broken families. Broken families as in the children are just on a different level of disrespect and the parents have no control over their children. The parents are being bullied by their own children, basically. That's where Super Nanny comes in. Okay, she saves them. That show really brings back so many memories. I was literally a child watching other children be disrespectful to their parents and I would have them belt ready. It hurt me as a child to watch the kids be so disrespectful. It also hurt me to see the parents just not be able to do anything. The show first aired in 2004 and it last aired in 2011. If you thought Bad Baby was a bad kid, you have not seen the worst. You have not seen the worst. The respect is nowhere to be found. So the episode just starts off with Gen C, a single mother of three, introducing her children, Bradley, Kelsey, and Hagen. <laughs> Hagen! Can I get up? Why, why is he in the dog cage? Why is he even in there? <laughs> and we casually just see them beating each other up. They're here playing tug of war while the daughter is casually just beating her brother. The, the, the hits don't look gentle. And then you have Hagen, the youngest, trying to kill his sister because I don't know what kind of throw that was, but it looked like it was a murder attempt. Why are you throwing it so hard? Why? And you know, I love children. I really do. But you know what? Hit me one too many times and we boxing. I fight kids, what's up? <laughs> Girl, what's up? What's up? I don't care if you're five, you will catch these hands. So she eventually reveals that she works two jobs and she gets a lot of help from her grandparents. Hi, I'm Granny. I'm Papa. Where's the great grandparents? Well, Gen Z starts talking about her oldest son, Bradley, who actually likes to fight his siblings. I was about to say I do the same thing, but like, no, I don't. I don't do that. I'm sorry. The most I would do is like just go into my sister's room. And I feel like this is an older sibling thing. I don't know why. There's just something in me that's always itching to mess with my younger siblings. I don't, I don't understand it. I'll just go to my sister's room randomly and just wreak havoc on her life. <laughs> This boy, this boy Bradley, he does not fear his life or his mother <laughs> at all. <laughs> you know what's crazy about situations like this? Like I could talk about her kids as much as I want, but like, I don't know how my kids are gonna turn out. Like they could be worse. Ooh, oh, that better not happen, oh my God. And then she eventually starts talking about her youngest son, Hagen, and how he has an anger problem. It's always the youngest one. It's always the youngest sibling. Like they just be angry. <gasps> no! When Hagen gets in trouble, he. You want to kill me? Your mom. Ha! Ha! Kids be so bold. Like, what do you think your little self is gonna do? What do you think your little self is gonna do? You can barely reach the top counter. You gotta ask for help to wash your hands at the sink. <laughs> no, but for real. Seriously. Like, imagine microwaving a kid in your stomach for nine months only for them to say they wanna kill you over a popsicle. A popsicle? A popsicle? That's what warrants my death? Kids, 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 they're just so funny. When Hagen gets in trouble, he takes his anger out on me. Mama Jill! Or one of the kids. He usually goes to blows with me. That is a little five-year-old boy. I think he's five. That boy is five years old! I know the whole topic of spankings is very controversial, but this child, this child need a spanking. He need a timeout, he need something. He needs something. He could have broke her back. 
Okay, and the kids, the kids don't even care. That just means that it's common because they did not even react. They just continue playing. I just know she's tired. She's probably tired of being tired. Of being tired. Of being tired. She's tired. And then we have Kelsey, who's the only daughter who has a mouth. Shut up and put these books up. No, I've told you a hundred times today, Kelsey. Good for you. Woo. One thing I hate is bad attitudes. Please don't give me bad attitude. Please don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. If I don't give you attitude, please don't give me attitude. I especially hate when I'm out at a grocery store or I'm at a fast food place and the people are giving me attitude like, what? You don't even know me. You don't even know me. Why are you giving me attitude? And so as you can see, all of these children are reckless. A reckless mouth, reckless behavior, just reckless. And that's where Super Nanny comes in. I'm on my way. Jancy feels like she can't do it on her own, which is very obvious, okay? You told the boy to not go outside and he went outside. Your daughter told you to shut up and you... You shut up. So yeah, Super Nanny needs to get herself to that house as soon as possible. As soon as possible! So Joe comes to the house and Joe, by the way, is Super Nanny and everyone's excited. <laughs> I just want to say these kids are some good actors. S someone needs to hire them for a movie, a TV show, something. How are these kids? Look at Kelsey being all sweet. Show your true self. I want to see it. Shut up. But you know, it's okay. It wasn't long until they started to show their true colors. Hagen. Hagen, Hagen, Hagen. The angry child. He got really upset because he was told by his mother to put his skateboard inside. Get inside. Go. Open the door, Hagen. How is that little boy so strong? Like, please let me know. It looks like she was actually trying to use some force to open the door. This is a five-year-old. We got Hercules in the building. Hey, you. Why do you hate me? Being me. No, I'm not being me. Yeah, you are. You still can't ride it. I'm running away. Where are you gonna run away to? <laughs> I just remembered how every time I'd have like a little issue with my parents, I would always want to run away. Like I'd never actually do it, but like, why did we think that was always the plan after an argument with our parents? I didn't have money. I would literally look around my house for quarters. So as you know, Hagen is here complaining and crying because he was told to put his skateboard in. And before we knew it, he started hitting her. Ouch! Her patience, her child hits her. And in anger, she just smacks him back. And it's just fire with fire. I just sit back and observe. So the mom eventually tells Kelsey to go and clean her room and um, what do you think happened? Ah, she said no. Kelsey, go do something with that room. Mm -mm. Go clean your room. No. Go clean your room. No. Yes. Let go of me. Kelsey. No, mom. But the thing that doesn't really make sense to me is that once she started going to her room, she starts complaining and crying that she wants chicken nuggets. I want chicken nuggets! I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm not even gonna lie. I hate you! You know I'm starving to death! How do we go from cleaning your room to wanting chicken nuggets? Children. You know what? Kelsey might actually be smart. Think about it. If you're told to clean your room, but you start throwing a huge tantrum about wanting chicken nuggets, your mom is gonna forget about the fact that you're supposed to be cleaning your room and be more focused on trying to calm you down because you're having a tantrum. Mmm, Kelsey, I see you. It's still bad and still disrespectful, but I see you. So the mom eventually drops the kids off at the grandparents' house while she's at work, and um, we saw completely different children. They they did a whole 180. I'm telling you, these kids are actors. Would you go in there to shut the front door, please? Go run. Things are very calm here. This is not the same kid that you just saw screaming and crying over chicken nuggets. It's not. It's not. They did a whole 180. When grandma says close the door, what do they do? They close the door. Everyone is just so calm and relaxed and it's actually kind of frightening. The kids act a lot better at our house. At the grandparents' house, they do have to follow rules, while at the mom's house, there isn't any of that. And so that's why the kids are way more respectful at the grandparents' house, which is very obvious actually because when her daughter told her to shut up what did she do she shut up i would never get over that <laughs> eventually they went back to the mom's house and um things went back to normal i'm i'm this is insane this is crazy and i feel tired i'm not even there i feel like i just exerted so much energy watching that these kids are scary so Super Nanny has had enough, okay? And so she decided to have a meeting with the mom and also the grandparents. We need to sit down and talk ASAP. How have you for so long 
tolerated that behavior from your five-year-old son? That's what I want to know too. How? 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 She's stronger than me. None of your children have any respect for you because they see you lacking respect for yourself. Mm. Because let me tell you something. Mm. Ain't that a word? Ain't that a word? Ooh. If you respect yourself, you're not going to allow other people to respect you. So even though this is her children, this goes for everything in life. Have standards and live by them period you don't have to accept anything don't like the way someone's treating you cut them off you're way better than that you're worth so much more than that and you didn't come to this world to be disrespected by your own children or him or her or them okay this goes for everybody not just the mom okay i feel like i just needed to say that to whoever needed to hear that i'm the type of person who needs like words of encouragement and just like hearing positive things and i want to be that person for somebody else who needs to hear it as well and i know this is a super random super nanny video but what super nanny just said Wonderful. So the meeting went really well. The mom said her piece, the grandparents said their piece, and Super Nanny said her piece, and they're ready to get to work. Okay, let's get to work. So basically they started off by making house rules and everyone was gonna come together to make the rules. And you know, Hagen, he was ready to let us know that he didn't like no rules. I don't know about these rules business. And something that I found really interesting was that the kids were suggesting rules that they already break. No but back talking. No name calling. No bad words. No fighting. They literally break every single one of those rules. <laughs> the Super Nanny implemented this concept where they would fish for chores. So basically they'd be blindfolded and they fish for chores to do and it worked. I was actually surprised. Like they, they started working really, really fast. And it's low key a good idea. I think I might implement it when I have kids like later, 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 later in the future. Okay. Because honestly, if this was implemented when I was a kid, I might've liked doing chores. Because right now at my age, I like doing chores. Like, I actually do enjoy cleaning. It's kind of therapeutic to me or whatever. Uh, I used to hate it because I don't like being told to do the chores. Like, I can literally be in the middle of washing dishes and my mom will come out of nowhere and be like, make sure you wash those dishes. Now, now I don't want to do them. Super Nanny also tried to get the kids to get along. Kelsey is a really, really good writer, while Bradley really likes music. So what happened? A rap duo. Kelsey got some Barbies. Yeah, she does. She's playing with them all day. No, I'm not. It's all right. You're right. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. See, I like seeing them get along. It's so cute. It makes me forget about how demonic they act. <laughs> like when they were being all rude and disrespectful, I just couldn't get the thought. <sighs> I couldn't get the thought out of my head. But now that they're being sweet, I love them. I love them. They're so cute. And then we found out Super Nanny can rap. Okay, let's keep the beat going then. Slow it down. I'm here with the children, rapping so loud. Bradley likes a slam dunk and Kelsey writes so proud. Shut Hagen's the hell got up. his Lincoln log. Mama's got her rules up. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, there really wasn't much happening. The kids just wanted the mom to stop losing her temper so fast, less spankings, more listening, yada, 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 okay. And honestly, the show was going really well. Like, they had family game night, everyone was laughing, like everything is going good. Honestly, it, Super Nanny can go now at this point. But she wanted to give the ultimate test and wanted to leave the mom with the kids just by herself for four days. And um, things went really good. She did amazing with the first two kids. You know, Hagen is still a little devil. I mean, kid, he's still a crazy kid, oh my gosh. And in general, she was able to learn a lot from Super Nanny being there. She even wrote a letter to her grandparents for them helping her all those years. And I'm not even gonna lie, a tear came down. <laughs> a tear came down, okay. I was kind of emotional. I was kind of emotional. And they lived happily ever after and Super Nanny saved their lives. And um, she left and sped away in her Nice little Volkswagen. Is that a Volkswagen? But can we talk about that little flex right there? She got a Super Nanny license plate. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that. But yeah, that was basically the episode. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button. And also, if you just like me, hit the subscribe button, baby. You can see me every week. Make sure to follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram. I'll see you guys on my next video. I love you and peace.